Moving on to Namibia, Namibian Justice Minister Yvonne Dalsab has called on Africans on the continent to ensure that institutions that support democracy are independent and are being held accountable. Minister Dalsab addressed the civil society at the Pan-African Parliament in Midran, Johannesburg. We, we strengthen democracy for sure. One, one sure way is that you ensure that your, um, you know, your courts and your judiciary is independent, impartial, uh, that your judiciary is well supported, and, and that the, the executive, once the judiciary has made a decision, um, complies with the decision of the courts, so that the public can also see that they can entrust the judiciary with the function of interpreting the law and applying um, the constitutional precepts that are set out in various constitutions of the, of, of the continent that pertains to dignity, rights, equality, and so forth. So I think courts is one way um, that you can sh certainly do that. And I think the other way of, of strengthening institutions is um, really provide, pe you know, put the right people in the right positions. That's, that's another way that you can ensure that institutions deliver what they have been, um, uh, you know, established to, to deliver. Um, the, the other, I think, is that we must create um, more resources, various, you know, human and financial resources for, for especially institutions of accountability, you know, institutions that are responsible, uh, that are responsible for anti-corruption measures, for, in, for instance, um, institutions that are responsible for, um, you know, civil society and, and, and public engagement. We must strengthen those so that, you know, people have a sense that, that, that the promises that we've made in our various constitutions are honored. You have a situation where executives sometimes put pressure on these institutions and even those heads of institutions feel like they have to protect the executive. Well, institutions like electoral commissions, anti-corruption commissions, they have a responsibility to protect their own integrity. Um, you know, and if there is a sense, because it, at the end of the day, institutions are, are men and, and there are men and women that sit in those positions. They have a responsibility to protect their own integrity. And if they are no longer able, if there is any sense, I, I don't get that sense. Uh, you know, I don't know enough about other countries, but from my own country, and I'm sure also uh, for South Africa, I don't get a, a, an overt sense that there is any sense of interference uh, by the executive with institutions such as human rights, institutions and so forth. But I think um, if, if there is discomfort, that discomfort must be expressed. And often, uh, if there is discomfort, there are other ways in which you know, those institutions and those individuals can express those concerns. For example, through parliamentary committees, if they feel that they are being pressured by the executive. Um, yeah. And finally, ahead of the Africa Day, 60 years since the formation of the African, uh, the Organization of African Unity, and now we have the AU, African Union. What is your message to the citizens of this continent and those in the diaspora? I think they must own these institutions. They must uh, make time, particularly young people, must make the time to read the documentations because I know they have access to it. There is obviously a responsibility on the part of the executive and of members of parliament, such as members of the uh, Pan-African Parliament, to make sure that that information is widely made available to citizens. Because at the end of the day, the citizens are our sovereigns. They are the ones we serve. And if they don't internalize if they don't own that particular, uh, for example, Agenda 2063, you know, the Africa that we want may not be reached because it will then just become an issue that is on paper. So it's important for us to understand as a people what our role is in changing um, the way we do things, but also holding us as leaders accountable. It is entirely on them, um, or rather partly on them, to make sure that they also participate and have interest and show interest in the activities of the organs of the African Union. Including asking the presidents or heads of government hard questions when they are questioned.
I, I think, you know, the media has played a brilliant role in asking hard questions. You know, the, the, the challenge maybe is whether you're always getting the answers that you're seeking. Um, but it shouldn't stop you from asking the questions because asking the questions to one individual um, creates an opportunity for others to hear the question and try and find solutions to the questions that we ask. So we must ask the difficult questions, all of us.